Formula E is the world's first single-seater all-electric racing championship that races cars with a battery capacity of 51 kilowatt hour, capable of producing 350 kilowatt of power, and can regenerate up to 600 kilowatt of power. Formula E cars run 40% of a race distance on regenerated power, which makes the sport technically superior and incredibly exciting. Of course, these electric cars cannot run without charging the batteries, and like all things in motorsport, Formula E decided to partner up only with the best, ABB, the global leader in electric vehicle fast charging as the official charging partner for the sport, to provide fast mobile chargers for the Gen 3 cars. I caught up with Boss Berrix, project manager for the ABB Formula E race charger, to know more. Uh, it's a, yeah, a new charger from ABB. It's a, indeed what you said, a mobile uh, solution. Uh, we worked closely with the Formula E to make sure that they have a sustainable and, and really safe uh, solution uh, available for all the charging teams. It's a 160 kilowatt charger uh, on a single outlet or a, a, a double outlet, uh, the 80 kilowatt charger. And the teams here use it ma mainly for 80 kilowatt uh, on a dual outlet. So they only have one charger in, in their garage. So that really reduces their, their footprint of the charger in their garage. Right. So they have more space available yeah, for their own equipment, basically. Okay, and how did it uh, work in particular for Hyderabad City? Because this is the first time that we are hosting an electric uh, race at such a you know global scale. So did you have to do a lot of testing before hosting uh, you know, a race here? No, we did not, did not do specific testing for, for here because yeah, everything is arranged really well. So we, we did quite some testing before the, the season started. Yeah? Right. So we worked closely with Formula E before the season even started. And there we did a lot of testing and uh, made sure that the chargers were compatible with the cars and the cars compatible with the chargers. I wanted to understand that how different is this charger from the one that was used in Gen 2 up till last year? Yeah, so this charger is uh, really a standard uh, passenger car charger, basically. So it uh, follows all the charging standards, all the safety re regulations and, and, and you name it. And the charger they were using in Gen 2 area uh, yeah, was uh, more of like a acid, lead acid charger. So they had to wear safety gloves and safety helmet uh, because they were basically handling live uh, high voltage cables. So they needed to make sure that it was a safe solution for, for the, all the team members and then they had to wear this lock. And now with this charger, you have like a standard CCS2 plug, which is really touch safe. You can even not touch it with your fingers. Uh, and, and first, when you connect, uh, because now there's also no power at all. And when you connect, there's first communication with the car and then they close the contactors and then you start charging basically. So I wanted to understand that how different is this charger to say a wall box charger that we understand uh, to charge the road cars? Yeah, so uh, ABB has a few uh, charging lines basically. So you have the designation charging, so that's the wall box and the AC charger. So they are yeah, really meant for at home and uh, yeah, have a charging solution at home. And this charger is really based on a charger which um, in a place where a public place basically a yeah. charging station yeah, yeah a charging station or uh, with a company or uh, so really public places mm -hmm. then you use the big uh, charger basically because you also need a proper uh, grid connection to make sure right yeah you, you can power it up basically uh, and this charger is based on one of them so okay. normally we have cabinets uh, like this so they're really high and small and mm. lean uh, but yeah, it was still too big to transport, okay. so that's why we made it even smaller okay. uh, to make sure yeah, that we have a good solution available, uh, which is also easy to transport. Is that one of the goals uh, for ABB in the coming years to make these mobile chargers even smaller and even more uh, Yeah, definitely. You know, I, I, I think there's uh, quite some requests also to have mobile chargers, so I think this is the first charger we will see from ABB that's really fast charging and mobile and I, I know for sure that we will try to reduce it even more and uh, yeah, make it a better charger and then this is the best environment to be to make sure that you develop a mobile charger which can handle everything. And uh, for these races I understand that this mobile charger is capable of charging two cars at the same time. Yes. Um, so how long does it take to charge both the cars at the same time? 
Uh, it's uh, within 45 minutes uh, you can charge a family e car from zero to 100 percent. How much of what is applied in this race actually is used in the real world, or is it vice versa that what you already put out at the charging? It's station? actually vice versa, indeed. So what we have applied in, in, uh, already in the field everywhere is now introduced in this charger as well, and then yeah, we are basically also using this as a test uh, area. So all the information we get from the teams, uh, from the charging sessions, we collect. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, yeah, after every race, I make a report and that goes back to R&D. And then all the findings uh, will be yeah, used to improve all the charges ABB produces. So not only this one, but also all our other charges. All right. Thank you so much for giving us your time and yeah, explaining no to us what this charger is all about. Thank you so yeah. much.